All right, good morning, uh, Grandma Roseanne, and I'm so glad you came because I had a situation. I bought all of these mushrooms, and I was gonna make mushroom soup. And you know how sometimes life just kind of gets away from you? And I don't have time to make this soup. And I had two pounds of mushrooms. I don't want to throw them out. So what we're going to do is we are going to just create a beautiful onion mushroom that you can use for so many things. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. First of all, you want to get rid of the stem. You don't need the stem. So get that out of there. And then you never wash them. You don't ever put uh, water on mushrooms. You just take a, a cloth and just scrape off any junk that's on there, which I have done on all of these. And then you want to, of course, do I have my knife? No, I now have my knife. Then you just want to um, just slice them, just like that, okay? In the pan here, I have got six tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to melt that down. And then we are going to add onions to this. Now, is there anything more wonderful than onions and mushrooms together? I think that that is just like a gift from the gods. What happens here when you have this mixture already done, you know, which, and I know I'm not the only one that happens to you buy something with the intent of you're going to create something with it. And then things happen. Well, what happened with us is my husband's in the hospital. So prayers from all of you would be very welcome. And so I've been spending a lot of time um, dealing with medical stuff. So my mushrooms were about to have to be used to get thrown out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the mushrooms. Now, once you have done this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freeze them. And they are flavorful. They are fantastic. Now, when I want them, like perhaps we're going to have steak for dinner and we want a beautiful mushroom topping on it, I'm going to pull out a small bag of the mushrooms, just defrost it, and ready to go. Super simple. You get a call and you've got friends that are coming over. They're going to come over for a drink or come over, I don't know, for whatever. You pull these out, defrost them quickly, which you can do. Just heat them up again on your skillet. And then you can take some beautiful little breads and uh, toast the bread, uh, put a little bit of garlic on it and just toast it. And, and you use the mushrooms and the onion as an appetizer. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. Now, we want flavor in the mushrooms because mushrooms on their own don't have a ton of flavor. So what we're going to do is put in about three quarters of a cup of diced onion. Just like that. We're going to let that saute just a little bit on its own. And then we're going to add the mushrooms and we're going to cook them until they cook down a lot, um, a lot. And they will, first of all, they're going to release a lot of liquid and then once the liquid starts to become absorbed, then they, they'll shrink up quite a bit. But what we're going to do is add additional flavor to that. We're going to be adding some white wine. So it'll be just scrumptious. Just trust me on this. Also, if you're going to be making a dressing, um, a stuffing, maybe if you're a turkey or something, you can pull some of this out and use that in your dressing and it would be delicious. This is this is a really good addition to most anything that you're going to want that would require just some extra flavor, just some extra flavor. All right, now these are starting to saute, but I'm gonna let them go for a little bit and I will be back in just a minute. All right, our onions are fragrant and they've softened and now we're just putting in two pounds of mushrooms, just like that. Get those last ones that always try to escape. And you want to be sure you coat them so everybody gets their fair share in there of butter and onion. And we do want some seasoning in here. So we're going to put salt in. Let me get it. I never measure this stuff, you guys. So let me just get this so I can give you a measurement because I know that makes you happy. So what would I put in here would be 
one teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. All right, so let's mix that up. And I know right now for this amount of mushrooms, that's not enough butter. So I'm going to add more butter to it. Now remember I told you you already had six tablespoons in there. So we're going to add another two tablespoons. There. Let that kind of start working together. And when this cooks down a little bit, then we're going to add some white wine. Everything in this dish is fabulous, you guys, everything. Now, I'll caution you, when you're going to use a wine, don't, don't get a cooking wine. They're, that's really bad stuff. Just get a wine that you would be happy to serve at the table. Doesn't have to be an expensive wine, just one that you would serve at the table. What I'm gonna use here is a, a barefoot Chardonnay. It's just a good quality wine. It is not expensive and it's just really flavorful, but it adds so much. Don't worry about the alcohol content in it. Uh, don't worry about that at all because it burns off. You don't have any alcohol content left in it. All you really have is the flavor from it. So now we're going to let it cook down a little bit and I shall be back. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put in the wine. I'm using a fourth here, so that's... I put in three quarters of a cup of wine. That's just going to bring amazing flavor to this. Just amazing. All right. Nothing to do now, just let it cook. That's it. See how easy this is? Anybody can do this, anybody. And if you like mushrooms, you will love this. Just love it. All right, I'll be back. I just uh, want you to see how this is cooking down. We're gonna cook it until all of that liquid is gone, but it's just beautiful. And I just wanted you to see that. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we are there. This is what you are looking for. So come on and take a look at that, cameraman. Pretty delicious looking, isn't it? And when you serve that as an appetizer, it is wonderful. So I pulled out a little bit because I wanted to taste it and see the fabulous goodness that there is. Oh, man, that is excellent. Really, really excellent. So, try it. I'm going to freeze all of this. It's going to go over a ribeye steak in the next day or two. And then it's going to go over some great croutons when I have company over for cocktails. Thank you. I forgot. Ingredients will be listed below. Thumbs up and hit the bell and come back. Come back. I enjoy cooking with you. Bye-bye.